It's the dry season finally. The Trinidad and Tobago Meteorological Service has declared the onset of the 2021 dry season. But this dry season will likely be wetter than average. We could also see uh, some hot spells, especially through April and May. And we could also see some of those uh, cold nights that we've seen of late uh, for the rest of January, as well as going into February. Now, the dry season does not have a fixed date. In fact, in 2020, it began on the 21st of January. And we rely on the atmospheric conditions to signify the start of the dry season. Well, right now, across uh, Trinidad and Tobago and indeed Eastern Caribbean, we have a pretty much uh, fair weather in a charge. But there are some pockets of a low-level moisture pushing through and those pockets will likely bring a couple of brief showers especially across uh, Tobago's hillsides along those eastern shores as you go overnight into the first part of a Saturday and in fact we could be seeing some generally cloudy conditions uh, through Saturday with a scattering of showers are possible and there's still a low chance of a heavier shower and maybe even that isolated thunderstorm erupting during uh, tomorrow. Now, some of the conditions are expected tonight in Trinidad. Again, partly cloudy skies first thing. And then you'll notice a lot of the clouds are building after midnight. A few of the clouds into the first part of Saturday morning will produce some showers across the hillsides of uh, the northern range up towards Diego Martin, as well as Lopino and Maracas. But there's still, again, a low chance of a heavier shower or thunderstorm. So in those thunderstorms or downpours, you could experience some gusty winds. So be mindful about that, especially uh, during the first part of a Saturday and into the first part of your lunch time but overall we are expecting the temperatures to still remain quite comfortable by night 23 degrees celsius for piarco 24 degrees celsius for crown point 31 at the high at piarco tomorrow 30 degrees celsius in crown point now on sunday we'll lose a lot of that moisture we'll return to pretty much fine weather to end the weekend and start next week a lot of sunshine is expected but the temperatures will still remain at a comfortable 31 degrees celsius during the day and hover at 23 degrees celsius by night now for fisher folk and mariners heading out, very little changes offshore. Still looking at a moderate chop of one and a half meters through the Atlantic and the Caribbean, but there's still some north to northeasterly swells about the about 11 to 13 seconds. So take care, be mindful about that. And we'll see some fresh northeasterly winds at a 20 knots. So that will be also begin to whip the waves, possibly by late Saturday and going into Sunday. Now, of course, uh, the rest of the Caribbean, we have been seeing all of those uh, patches of cloud for the Leeward Islands. But up towards the north, we still have yet another cold front coming down uh, through Cuba into the Bahamas and out towards the Yucatan Peninsula there. We'll continue to see a lot of cloudiness and some showers there. Some of that showery activity could produce one or two heavier showers for Jamaica as well as for Haiti by the weekend. So they'll be watching that, for the possibility of some of those downpours there. But for uh, Santo Domingo and the Dominican Republic, mostly settled skies at 30 degrees Celsius. And towards the Leeward Islands, again, mostly settled weather as you go through Saturday and Sunday. Very little changes through the weekend for much of the Leeward Islands. And then down towards the windwards as well. Just occasional showers pushing through on Saturday, and those will clear up by Sunday. So that's your weather, and that's it for me.